Etigwini Water and Sanitation provides water and sanitation services to Durban, a city of three and a half million people. We're trying to find alternative services. And flowing from that need was our move to talk to the University of KwaZulu-Natal about what they could offer. And speaking to Professor Chris Buckley of the Pollution Research Group. The University of KwaZulu-Natal offers a unique opportunity for researchers in the field of on-site sanitation. We found that they had students and people who could do the research to underpin the implementation work that we needed to do. UKZN has a unique involvement in the Being Banned the Toilet Challenge by undertaking specific methods and analysis on synthetic sludge and fecal sludge from different on-site sanitation facilities. We have available already an extensive data set of bi biological, mechanical and chemical properties which are available on request for all the RTTC grantees. Through our partnership with Etiquini Municipality and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, we have facilities which are unequal in the world. We also undertake specific characteristics research on different excreta streams. And we have five MSc students involved on the project. My name is Albert Mujinki. I come from Zimbabwe. I did my undergrad here at the University of Kozul Natal. And currently I'm doing my MSc, focusing on the forward osmosis of urine. We are looking at desalinating urine using forward osmosis as a technique. Okay, my name is Joyce Oma. I'm from Kenya. I'm doing my project is on microfiltration and nanofiltration of flash water. My name is Lefaunolo Diva. I'm from Lesotho. I'm doing uh, my master's in chemical engineering under the project called Rheological Properties of Fissile Sludge. My name is Simon Wawero Mirara. I come from Kenya. I've come to Durban to do a master's in characterization of on-site materials, that is VIP sludge processing. My name is Konza Kutube. I'm from Zimbabwe. My project topic is separation products of urine. Additional analysis could be undertaken on request by other partners. We have facilities available. On specific requests, we can also undertake um, different prototypes testing in situ or in lab conditions. We have a fully equipped workshop which is able to undertake mechanical changes to equipment and repairs. My name is Ken Jack and I'm Chief Technician of the Chemical Engineering Workshops. We do a lot of work for Chris, um, in charge of doing all his research projects and whatnot. Uh, we have lathe milling machines, shaping, grinds, grinding machines, cuttle saws. We have enough machinery here for any events that uh, need to be done. Uh, we are from Kana Water and Storage Company in uh, Zambia. We've come here with the two local authorities uh, from Kitwe and Kalulushi uh, to come and learn on on-site sanitation and specifically the aspect of fecal sludge management. And through our research we learned that there's a lot of work that is being done in South Africa and this is why we've come. They can come here bringing their own equipment and do the kinds of experiments and tests which they would not be able to do in their home laboratories. My name is Colleen Archer. I have been a parasitologist for 33 years and recently started working with the Pollution Research Group at the University of KwaZulu-Natal. This goes back to approximately 2004-2005 when I started helping honours students and from then I went on to help masters and PhD students. The health and safety of all our visitors is well taken into account through the work of our laboratory manager who runs a very stringent health and safety campaign in our laboratories. Hi, my name is Merlene Reddy and um, I'm the lab technician here in PRG. I'm actively involved in the health and safety of the lab. Ethical approval is requested from the university for all the work that we do which involves community. Social studies have been undertaken by different grantees to understand the social constructs and user preferences <laughs> for different sanitation systems. We have a worked out mechanism for couriering uh, samples which should be prepared in our lab. Um, 
whether the visitors come and prepare the samples themselves or we can prepare on specific requests and ship it to any point of the world. Thank you.